As a professional software developer, it is essential to understand the difference between REST API versus Web API versus SOAP. While all are formats that are interchangeable in many situations and are used to communicate between different software systems, they have different architectures, structures, and use cases. In this video, let's explore and understand the key differences between each one of them and when to use each one of them. So let's get started. First off, what is REST API? Well, REST stands for Representational State Transfer and REST API is a web-based application programming interface that follows the REST architectural style. The primary purpose of REST is to provide an architecture for building web services that can be consumed by various clients including web, mobile and desktop applications. REST is based on HTTP which is the standard protocol used for communication on the internet. It uses the HTTP method including GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, etc. to perform various operations on the resources. Each resource in REST is identified by a unique URL and the response is returned in JSON or XML format. One essential feature of REST API is that it follows the stateless client-server model. This means that the server doesn't store any information about the client's state between requests. Instead, each request contains all necessary information required by the server to process the request. This architecture makes REST API scalable and easy to maintain. So, when to use REST API? Frankly speaking, REST API is an excellent choice when building web services that require stateless, scalable, and easy to maintain architecture. It's ideal for building applications that require CRUD operations such as creating, reading, updating, and deleting data. REST API is also suitable for building applications that require real-time communication such as chat applications and streaming services. Next up, what is Web API? Well, to state simply, Web API is a broader term that encompasses all types of APIs that can be accessed over the internet. It includes REST API, SOAP, XML RPC, and many other types of APIs. The primary purpose of Web API is to provide a platform-independent interface that can be used by various clients, including web, mobile, and desktop applications. Web API uses different protocols, including HTTP, HTTPS, and TCPIP to communicate between clients and servers. Unlike REST API, Web API doesn't follow a specific architecture or structure. Instead, it can be designed using any technology or architecture depending on the requirements. One of the key features of Web API is that it provides a flexible interface that can be used by various clients and it allows developers to expose various functionalities of the application, including CRUD operations, authentication, authorization, and many others. This makes Web API a powerful tool for building complex applications that require a lot of integration and communication between different systems. So, when to use a Web API? Frankly speaking, Web API is a better choice when building complex applications that require integration with different systems and technologies. Web API provides a flexible interface that can be customized to meet the requirements of various clients, including web, mobile, and desktop applications. Web API is also suitable for building applications that require authentication, authorization, and security. Next up, what is SOAP API? Well, SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol, which is a messaging protocol used for exchanging structured data between different applications. SOAP API is a web-based application programming interface that follows the SOAP messaging protocol. The primary purpose of SOAP is to provide a standardized way to exchange data between applications, regardless of the platform or programming language used. SOAP API uses XML as the format for sending and receiving data, and it provides a wide range of data types including text, numbers, dates, and binary data. SOAP also supports multiple transport protocols including HTTP, SMTP, and FTP. One of the essential features of SOAP API is its ability to define a set of rules for exchanging messages between applications. These rules are defined in the Web Services Description Language or WSDL, which specifies the format of the SOAP message and the operations that can be performed on it. 
Another essential feature of SOAP API is its support for advanced security mechanisms, including digital signatures and encryption. These security features ensure that data exchanged between applications is secure and cannot be accessed by unauthorized users. So, when to use SOAP API? Well, SOAP API is an excellent choice when we are building applications that require a highly secure and reliable method for exchanging data between the applications. It is ideal for enterprise level applications that require complex data structures and business logic. SOAP API is also suitable for building applications that require advanced security features such as digital signatures and encryption. Next, let's summarize the difference between REST API versus Web API versus SOAP API. First, REST API. It follows the REST architectural style. It uses HTTP method like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE to perform operations on resources. It returns data in JSON or XML format only and follows the stateless client-server model. It is suitable for simple applications, particularly those that require CRUD operations and real-time communication. Next, Web API. It doesn't follow any specific architecture or structure. It can use any protocol or technology to communicate between client and servers. It can use any data format including JSON, XML, CSV and many others and further can be stateless or stateful depending on the requirements. It is suitable for building complex applications that require integration with different systems and technologies. And lastly, SOAP API. It uses XML as its data format. It follows a specific set of rules and protocols for communication. It requires a SOAP-specific protocol such as WSDL or UDDI to describe the interface. It is suitable for building enterprise-level applications that require robust security and reliability. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you like my content, feel free to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.